government and I need cash now. Call JG Wentworth. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 bizarre commercials of the 2000s. For this list, we're looking at the weirdest ads that hit the airwaves during the 2000s. What strange 2000s commercial will you never forget? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Mr. Six, Six Flags. Disneyland has a beloved cartoon mouse for a theme park mascot, and Six Flags had a dancing old man? In 2004, the amusement park chain debuted Mr. Six. In this advertisement, we see the dispiriting effects of all work and no play on a town. That is, until a Six Flags bus pulls up and off it steps a glasses and tuxedo-wearing elderly man. Though he initially appears quite frail, he soon bursts into an elaborate dance routine to Venga Boy's We Like to Party, which gets stuck in your head as soon as you hear it. From there, everyone is off to the park, and Mr. Six is still dancing. If you begged your parents to go to Six Flags, this commercial probably had some influence. She also loves those ads for Six Flags with the old guy. <laughs> Number 9. Pinata Man, Skittles. Skittles is known for its slogan, Taste the Rainbow. So how many combinations are there in every bag of Skittles bite-sized candy? Find out for yourself. Taste the rainbow. But Taste the Weirdness might have been more suitable for this commercial. While chocolate-flavored Skittles weren't a particularly crazy idea, whoever came up with this ad is definitely a creative thinker. In an office break room, a severely injured man enters and drops a bag of chocolate Skittles in front of an employee. Is this what you are looking for? New chocolate flavored Skittles? As it turns out, the injured man is a human pinata who's furious about the beating he's received. The actor playing the pinata man delivers each line with such gravitas, he can make you forget you're watching a commercial, much less one for candy. I'm just like everyone else! Chocolate the rainbow! Taste the rainbow! Number 8. Applied directly to the forehead, head on. The makers of this ad likely weren't even trying to be weird, and that's exactly what makes it so strange. While a headache relief product is a great thing to promote, we find this approach rather counterintuitive. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. A voiceover says, head on, apply directly to the forehead, three times in a row while a woman uses the product. That's basically the whole commercial, and it doesn't get any less weird with time. I said apply a head-on directly to your goddamn forehead. Okay, okay! Happy? Though now that we think about it, it might have been the perfect concept. Because after watching this, we're immediately looking for anything to stop our headache. Another day, another migraine. Number 7. Dentures. Lays. Super Bowl 38 was infamous for its halftime show, but it also had one of the funniest commercials we've ever seen. A man drops a bag of Lay's potato chips that he swiped from his elderly parents. Not wanting to share, the older man trips the woman with his cane before hobbling over to claim his snack prize. He thinks he's won, but she has the upper hand or teeth as she reveals his dentures. Then, as a final insult to them both, the son comes back for his chips, giving his dad a kiss goodbye. This is a perfect little slapstick short film that effectively promotes its product while also being hilarious. We can't watch it just one time. Number 6. Dude, you're getting a Dell. Dell. Nothing screams early 2000s quite like Dell advertising mascot Steven, a.k.a. the Dell Dude. New York University acting student Ben Curtis promoted Dell PCs in 26 commercials, typically signing off with his enthusiastic catchphrase. Dude, you're getting a Dell. While Steven seemed like he might be more at home on a surfboard than on a computer, these commercials did remind us not to judge a book by its cover. Anywho, happy holidays, your son, Steven. 
In 2003, Dell fired Curtis after he was arrested for buying marijuana, which he says resulted in him being blacklisted from acting for a few years. However, Curtis has continued to work in recent years, appearing on shows like Orange is the New Black and The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. And America really hasn't seen anything yet. Dude, you're getting a comeback. Number 5. Baby Commercials E-Trade Some people find talking babies hilarious and adorable. Others find them quite unsettling. Check it. Click. I just bought stock. You just saw me buy stock. No big deal. But even if you belong to the second category, it's hard to argue against the genius of these ads. Using a financial services company can make you feel like a bit of a baby in terms of comprehension. So E-Trade cleverly created ads centered around a baby telling us about the ease and advantages of using their company. Get E-Trade, do some analytics, do some research, and take charge so I don't have to subsidize your lack of golfing skills. But on the night told, you moved your ball. Frank, it was on the cart path. This campaign was launched with the 2008 Super Bowl and was suspended in 2014, as E-Trade announced they were taking their marketing in a new direction. And in case you wanted to feel old, that original baby is now a teenager. Next thing you know, he's got a stunning portfolio. Now he's planning to retire in Tuscany. Maybe they'll grow up to be a stockbroker. Number 4. Berries and Cream – Starburst Skittles isn't the only fruit-flavored candy to get seriously weird with their advertising in the 2000s. In 2007, Starburst introduced their new berries and cream flavor with a character quite out of time who reacts with unsettling exuberance upon learning of the new candy. Berries and cream, berries and cream, I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. The other actors in the commercial look positively baffled after seeing the little lad perform his song and dance routine, and we're right there with them. And that's it. Oh, that was it. <laughs> in 2021, the ad received renewed popularity on TikTok, and Starburst launched a contest for fans to win their own little lad Halloween costume. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're a little lad, and you're not really a little lad, but you just can't get berries and cream because they would never do the little lad dance. There really is no telling what will make a comeback and when. Number three, baby commercial. PlayStation 3. If you were turned off by the E-Trade baby commercials, we can't imagine how you felt about this one. In an otherwise empty room sits an animatronic baby and Sony's then newest video game console. The baby awakens, and upon seeing the PS3, coos excitedly before launching into what sounds like a grown man's maniacal laughter while visions of video games enter their tear-filled eyes. <laughs> oh, and the robot baby's tears appear to recede back inside their eyes. The PlayStation 3 is a product that basically sells itself. Only on PlayStation 3, starting at $399. But we're not quite sure what the point of such a creepy commercial was. Number 2. Spa. Sprite. We love Sprite for its refreshing lemon-lime taste. Lime. Lemon. Lime. Lemon. Lime. Lemon. But this commercial makes it seem like there might be something a little extra in the caffeine-free soft drink. Part of a series called Subliminal Advertising, this ad opens up with a robotic female voice welcoming us and telling us, For best results, do not blink. Then, we see a man lying on an exam table with lemon and lime slices over his eyes, having Sprite dripped onto his mouth. If that wasn't weird enough, this ad uses fast editing and all kinds of bizarre imagery and effects to further the out-of-body feel. We might stick with Diet Sprite after seeing this. Number 1. Spong Monkeys – Quiznos there are all kinds of beloved mascots for fast food chains, from Ronald McDonald to the Burger King. But these ones are memorable in all the worst ways. Spong monkeys were grotesque-looking creatures that sang off-key about how much they love Quiznos and their subs. We love these subs, cause they are good to us. The ads were certainly original, but originality doesn't necessarily translate to quality, and they certainly didn't make us want to eat at Quiznos. After freaking out legions of viewers, Spong Monkeys quickly went extinct. They are so good, we need them robot eating roast houses for Merrick! A Quiznos representative later described them as permanently retired. Whoever came up with them might have needed to find a new career as well. So, so 
off. Bring it, bring it, a coupon. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.